Let's talk about the Crusader Kings 2. This is the start of the Roman Empire. We're going to do it this episode. It's been a long build-up. It's been a whole 145 years, but we've gone from five provinces to the Roman Empire. I know. A very difficult campaign, as you can imagine. It's actually been really straightforward, hasn't it? Right, so we've got to take these few provinces in England, all the way up to Hadrian's Wall as well from Ireland there. But we should be able to do that in one Casus Belli, I think. Um, yeah, so we can just do that in one go, which will be very, very straightforward. We've got to take Suffolk here from Denmark. But one of you suggested, a really great idea, by the way, was just declare war on them and have Saxony deal with it for us. So we've just got to save up. Oh, shit, that's like 1,800 gold. That's going to take ages. We've got to take that. We've got to tidy up a little bit of um, what is modern-day Germany. We've got to tidy up a very small amount of... Uh, we've got a little bit of Egypt there, a little bit of Greece left, a little bit of what is modern-day Turkey, and then we're done. Well, that's basically it. Oh, I think we've also got to take like a little bit of Damascus as well or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. It's genuinely probably about a dozen provinces, and then we can actually make the Roman Empire. Obviously, at that stage, I'll also have to try and go through and find any independent sort of barony, cities, temples, whatever. We have to control everything within the Imperium Romanum, and just to uh, clarify what that is, that's everything in this area. So you can see we've basically done it, and we've actually expanded beyond that as well, if you look very closely, sort this area in Africa, we've got a little extra land uh, around here in, don't tell me what it's called, um, I don't remember. Anyway, it's, it's in like modern day Hungary, and of course we've got to take a little bit here as well, and then we're, we're good. This is so good. I'm, I'm excited to do this, because obviously I've not done this in a while, even in the base game. So to do it in this, where we've got more Roman-based stuff as a Hellenic Roman, this is, this is a cool campaign. That being said, let's actually get on with it. So, what do we need? We need to actually save up a little bit more gold, don't we? Um, what do we need? We need 1,800 gold. And then, obviously, we need another 1,800 gold to go toward Denmark. We'll need another 1,800 gold to deal with this and that and this. We should have some valid, uh, like, sort of duke level castles Bella in Greece. Now, by then, our vassals might have already tidied some things up. So, I imagine one of our vassals will grab this final province here. The Maiden of Cilia of House Biggest Stickers. We're still trying to kill her and make ourselves the one unique ruler. Is it time? What do you think? Is it time once again for our attempt at stealing, not the Crown of Thorns, although that's pretty cool, uh, stealing the Ark of the Covenant? Where the hell is it these days? Uh, it probably belongs to whoever is... Uh, where's the Ark of the Covenant gone to? Right, I'm going to have to find that in the character's finder because that's a bit worrying. Obviously, we want to steal that so we can send it to China so they can dismantle the Sassanids. We can attack from uh, the west, trying to attack from the east, dismantle them, claim all this. Then we put our carrots up. The, the ultimate goal of this campaign is obviously reform the Roman Empire. But then beyond that, put a horse on the throne of China. Top tier. Let's do it. So let's go ahead and sick Saxony on Denmark just to start off with it. Saxony is much, much larger than them. So I imagine they'll be okay. They've even got some promises in South Scandinavia there. What are we looking at? 1,400. How many vassals are we looking at as well? 12, roughly. This guy's got 9, 1,200 men. Uh, 2,400 men, sorry. I mean... Ah, uh, it's hard to say who will win it, but obviously if Saxony start losing massively, we'll move in and help them out. We're not just going to let the war obviously go to shit there. So join us, help us. You join the blue team. Uh, he said yes, like a like a good and just man that he is. He also said yes, and this is going to make the vassals like us a lot more because they support the same chariot team. Now hopefully those boys can deal with that without needing our help. What we'll do while that's in progress, we'll go to war with Ireland and take up these last provinces in the UK there. Right, how much... Are we, we're going to need another 1,800 gold for that, aren't we? You fuckers. Um, council vote no. Oh, because they're all pragmatists and we're already at war with somebody else. Right, I didn't think about that too much. We would also have to buy favours from the council unless we tidy up Saxony first. Which, to be honest, I might just do that instead. Right, we'll take Huis and you can have that because I really don't care. Um, about, about sort of duchy title management at this stage of the game. I feel like it's a bit late for that when we control like a third of the known world. So let's not worry about that. Or at least a third of the important world. Okay. Um, <laughs> whoa, did you see that? M that duchy level flag? Holy shit, what was that? That's so cool. Wow, okay. Uh, we'll create that and just give it to somebody then. This has given us prestige, although we're trying to save up gold. It's always worth it because they'll also push their digital claims by doing that as well. So the earlier doing that, the better. Um, do we have any other Casas Bello we can push besides um, the Imperial Reconquest? So no, they're all just basically going to say no because they're shit biscuits. So why don't we raise our fleet and actually go and help out with the war in Saxony and try and expedite the process a little bit. Otherwise, we are actually just going to be sat here for ages waiting for them to finish that for us. And it's not exactly too much... Oh shit, they're actually losing it now. You idiots. Right, so Saxony are losing the war on our behalf. Very thoughtful of them, so we are actually going to have to help out whether we like it or not. To the Imperator, Julius. Uh, Saxony... No, honestly, I might end up conquesting you as well, my friend. So um, the last thing I need is you guys being under... Um, uh, be, being our suzerain, or be our, us being your suzerain, along with the marriage too. I think we might need you a little bit more vulnerable than that. Okay, everyone on the boats. We're going to Denmark. 
We're going for a reverse Viking attack from England to Denmark. Let's see what we can do. Um, you know, we can bow bomb into that. We don't have to worry about it, right? It's 2,500 men. Take the capital. Um, we should have probably sieged the war goal before we left in hindsight. Would it give us something called ticking war score? You might have heard of it. But no, I'm a fucking idiot. He's apparently never played CK2 before. So, you know, who minds? Okay. Let's head down. Uh, we killed this guy as well. Thank you very much. We'll take out... Oh, they've actually not got much of Denmark, do they? Considering they are the king of it there. Unless it's a titular kingdom? Oh, no. It's just the king of... Um, don't tell me. Is this one Shelland? Either way, they haven't done a very good job of it. All right, 42%. We're going to have to head up to central Scandinavia then and teach them other lands. Saxony, thank God. Um, instead of staying on their own concept, come over to actually help us in the UK there. Really, really thoughtful. All right, let's put those boats down. Raise these boys. Um, we're going to need those boats again later on, obviously, when we come back to the UK. But for now, it's not a big deal. Have we really only got that many men in the UK? Um, yes, we do. All right, then. Never mind. All right, let's get those boys together. Uh, we'll have Saxony attached to this instead. Seeing as they've only got 21 men, and I can't imagine they don't have many garrisons in Suffolk in the year uh, 623. I don't think anybody actually... Almost scientifically provable that nobody actually lived in Suffolk um, until the year 2012. Alright, um, shit, we can just about do it. Now, I've seen a lot of comments saying, why don't you take guys off of uh, the siege commanders so that you don't get any siege events. Um, I thought that was true, but apparently, according to some guys on Discord, the they actually changed that last patch. So, unfortunately, chances are we're going to get a siege event, which is going to kill off enough troops that we can't counter siege it. So, we'll probably have to pick the boys up and bring them back, but it's a little bit annoying anyway. Um, did I just say no to that? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, another good comment I saw, which is something I meant to do as well. We're supposed to rebuild the uh, Western Imperial Fleet, which gives us a shit ton of boats. We actually need to be the Count of Ravenna for that, which shouldn't be too difficult. That's uh, Ravenna's what, like here? Ancona? Ravenna. I was only one province off. Um, okay, now it's a lot more difficult because I didn't realize I shuffled him under another vassal there. We are quite close to our vassal limit. We probably were at the time, so I shuffled him away. Because I don't think he's supposed to be under that king, is he? Oh, no, he is. Okay, you know what? Fair enough, then. Not my fault. Uh, we could retract it and become a tyrant and then revoke it, but, I mean, it's a lot of hassle. Um, we could do it if we had a legitimate claim on the province, but, again, it's a lot of hassle just for some boats that we don't really need. It's kind of nice, though, just to clear off all the Roman-based events. Um, what about if we retract the vassalage, though? Uh, Flamina. Oh, shit, we can retract it without obligation, but it's going to cost us 45 opinion. I'm going to do it and just send him a gift. He's going to say no and uh, go into a rebellion. Seriously. Fuck's sake. You're not supposed to say no. We're allowed to do that, apparently, within our, within our laws. You know what? We've got our legions, but we never use them. So, you know what? Now it's time. Let's, let's, let's bring these boys together. Let's raise these troops. Um, are those the only legions we've got? 6,000 men. I mean, as long as we get there in time, it should be enough. Because their army's all split up here. And if we've got good enough commanders, it won't matter anyway. Dealing with the revolt and with the UK at the same time. Not ideal. I'm pretty sure this didn't go well historically, did it? Octavius Africanus has been elected the new proconsul of the Great Republic of this place, where I don't know where it is. It doesn't matter too much. Right. Um, okay, so we should be able to get there before their troops... Uh, I've changed my mind. You know what? I'm not interested. What if we just take Ravenna? Or we could just raise our troops in Rome as well, because I imagine we've got shit tons at this stage. Uh, we've got 5,000. How many how many troops have you got in total? 20k. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, fair enough. I don't want to bring in too much, too many troops from... Uh, Outside the uh, outside directly of Italy, though, because it's too much management to be fucking around with. Plus, it'll also make the game run a lot slower. So, um, we'll just take what we've got here in mainland Italy and Sicily. We've got 17,000 men, so we, um, if we can't win with that, we're doing something wrong. Curled up safely in the Badger's Den, I steeled my mind against the ovulating shadow men who stalked me outside. Sounds like a limerick. Uh, should we cut down on the beer? Lose the trait drunkard? What do you think? Oh, that's probably not a bad plan. We, there's also 20% chance of getting a temperate, 10% chance of diligent. You can actually gain all of these, because they're not mutually exclusive in this event. So let's hope we get really lucky and get all three. I mean, we we're going to get drunk either way. Oh, we actually did get temperate. Nice. That's very, very cool, because that's also fulfilled our gain of virtue ambition. Fall in love. I mean, after that, we haven't got any other ambition to do, so why not? I'm not even sure we can get any more ambitions after this stage. I mean, we are 194. What's there really left to do at that stage in life? Goodbye. Damn it. Oh, only 92% still shit. Um, We could always see just from now. There's no harm in that. There we go. 96 Oh, 94%, 96%. A little bit annoying that we have to deal with another revolt before we can deal with, you know, this other revolt. It's just revolts all the way down. All right. And these are our Praetorian Guard, or at least what's left of them. Hey, we've only got 6,300 out of 44,000 men left. So um, we might need to leave those guys to reinforce for a little bit. Thank you, Denmark, or at least half of Denmark. Okay, let's head you back over to the UK. That was definitely not worth it. Uh, what did we even grab from that? 
I see any, that's not right. Was it was it this dude? Sure, here you go. Um transfer vassalage, you can have Soulfuck, because I am nice like that. Uh right, boats come back. Let's put those boys down so we can actually start saving up a little bit of cash. The the boats that is not the not the boys. How much is this cost us anyway? 33 gold a month. Oh shit, look at how much gold we've got. Nomad agitation. Is somebody in the steps? No, not really. Oh, they're, they're heading to Crimea. Okay, you know what? Crimea should be ours anyway, eventually. So, um, we'll probably take that. Uh, right, put these boys down. You guys get in position, ready to take out Ireland in a second. Could deal with the Armenians. And then we can actually take over uh, Ravenna as well. Hey, do you want to not? Is this the revolt? Yeah, it is. Okay, sweet. Another one should be dealt with. J Sorry? Another one? <laughs> Another one. Oh, no, this is the Glitter Hoof. This is the one that already exists. Right, I was going to say, there's no way in hell we've just spawned another. Glitter Hoof, I reappoint the Magister Officiorium. Um, a little bit annoying, so that's just pissed off of us. So, hey, Glitter Hoof, you know, I'm actually going to sack you instead and replace it with this dude. Magister Militium. Um, who doesn't like me too much? Uh, this dude, but he's also the leader of a revolt, so I don't really care what he thinks. Okay, you're going to train my troops up. Now, we don't have much of a retinue anymore, do we? I imagine they've all died. Yeah, they're all dead. Holy shit, though. 301,000 men. You know what I'm going to spend this 10,000 gold on? Yeah, I think a, a massive retinue wouldn't hurt. Nice. What a mess. Okay, the 15th war against the tyranny of the 15th war. Holy shit. I've never realized that. Nice. To the demented windbag Julius. Rude. I was actually going to leave you alive, but for that, I might... Okay, you know what? Fine, you can stay. I can't be bothered to shift all the vassals around again. I'll be completely honest with you. Right, my friend. Um, I wanted to retract your vassalage without you complaining too much. What do we want? We wanted this one. Uh, thank you. I'll take that one. Um... He's considering it. What do you mean he's fucking considering it? Yeah, you do accept my decision, seeing as you're going to end up in the new my friend. Right, send him a gift. Then we'll release him, which should increase his opinion of us. There we go. Oh, or not. Released him from prison. Minus 25. You know what? Fair enough. Uh, we'll also release your wife as well, because I'm feeling nice like that. Prisoners, uh, we'll ransom just about everybody and their mother out of my prison. Yes, thank you very much. Off you go. I'd like to have done the crazy cannibal thing again a little bit more, but it's such a pain in the ass. Sorry, romantic interest in spouse. Oh, that's actually an option? That's cool. Alright, fair enough. Uh, oops, did I take the right button then? Ha! <laughs> oh well, never mind. I guess we'll fall in love with a random courtier, why not? Um, yep, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now it's time for everyone's favourite section of the show to see how much of Christianity we've destroyed. Ah, my favourite. Oh, Jesus. Um, wow. I wasn't expecting it to <laughs> the irony of shouting, oh, Jesus, at seeing we've wiped out all the Christians. Nice. Well, um, almost entirely Gaul is Hellenic. Uh, make that sentence work in the right order, thank you. Most of Iberia too. Uh, Northern Africa as well. Now, Egypt all the way up to around Tunisia here. Just basically we haven't really touched. We've taken some of uh, the sort of Egyptian Nile Delta there. Down past Luxor too. Um, a little bit of a foothold in Greece. But honestly, I'm kind of surprised the continent converted that far. Seeing as Druidic is a uh, reformed faith. Same as Christian. However, same as Christian. Same as uh, Nassine. Nassini. Um, however, the only difference is, I'm pretty sure, they have the higher moral authority, don't they? Um, so by authority here. Yeah, Druidic have a uh, much, much higher moral authority when you compare them. I'm surprised they've been so susceptible to conversion. But there we go. Zoroastrians next on my hit list. Um, we definitely want to break up those Sassanids as soon as possible, like preferably before we form the Empire so we can move straight on into our next goal so we're not sitting around for ages. Um, you got any more of those Ark of the Covenants, though? Is it? Oh, he's dead. Okay, reset. Ark of the Cove. <gasps> he's landed. You fool. Break into this boy's house and steal his Ark. My god. And it's time for your daily installment of the Heist of Julius Napos. Um, who's going to join us in this heist then? Um, again, I feel like if only there was a learning based one, eh? Right, what have we got? We've got my Marshal. Uh, it's 14, 27, 13. We have uh, my Spy Master. 11, 15, 18. We take my friend, who is 18.84. Shit. Um, take my marshal. Although, I did say last time we should probably just go for a straight diplomacy run. Because there's no point spreading ourselves across the board when we can just give ourselves the most chance in one skill. I'm going to take Commerce Julius Caesar of the Legio uh, of the Second Legion there. So, we'll take these boys instead. Okay. Let's give it a go. This time. Look, I've said it every time. But this time, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're going to pass... And be able to send off the Ark of the Covenant in exchange for the Chinese destroying the Sassanid Empire with our assistance. Okay. Um, that's still not inspiring me with confidence. So 77% chance of success there if we convince some servants to let me in. Good day. It is me, Imperator Julius Augustus, a 195-year-old man who successfully crossbred horses and humans. 
You might know me as being immortal and uh, the emperor of the basically restored Roman Empire. Please let me in. And they'll say, yes. They have said yes. Welcome, Imperator Julius Augustus and your good friend, whoever this threatening looking man is. What do we want to do? Uh, we could try and seduce the guards. Hmm. Don't think with that face he's going to be doing much. Poses a summon, give them poison drinks. 79% uh, chance of success. Or we could brush them before they raise the alarm. My good friends, welcome. It is I, Julius Augustus, the immortal 95-year-old ruler of the Western Roman Empire. Drinks are on me. Did it work? They were. It, they took those drinks and they dropped down dead instantly. We poisoned them with our great hermetic skills. Saying that, we've not actually joined a society. No, we, we, we did. We wrote a magnum opus about 150 years ago. I remember now. Okay, then. Um, finally. Now that you've dealt with the guards, you're free to search the treasury for your target. Time is short and the treasury is filled with documents, jewels, and many miscellaneous items. We're looking for one. It looks like um, a particular Ark of uh, of the Covenant. It's it's sort of large, filled with pots of manna, I think? The original biblical story says. Not like manna as in like a World of Warcraft wizard. You know, I tap my fucking forest and swamp for two manna. No, I'm talking about like actual pots of, of, of Jesus juice. So let's cover more ground. 67% chance of success. I don't think this is going to work. My god, I should have just said that from the start. And there it is, the Ark of the Covenant. After making your escape, you finally feel relieved. You've managed to steal one fine artifact that we're going to ship off to China. Is it a fake? Nobody knows. Okay, we received a beautiful new Ark of the Covenant. What happens if you send fake artifacts to China? I assume they just accept it and you get the same stuff? I don't know. Anyway, my good friend. This lights with Byzantines? Now you feel, my friend. Okay, here we go. Ark of the Covenant, 10,000 grace with my good friend, Emperor Tuoba Shangzhong. Anything to please the Emperor, including three heists. They're expansionist. Not for long, they won't be, my friends. Alright, let's go ahead and request an invasion. Does not have the expansionist policy? Oh, piss. Really? So if they're expansionist, we can't use their troops because they're using their troops. Shame for a display. Okay, um, I'm going to, in that case, request scholar bureaucrats who will reduce the build cost and build time of Rome. For 1,000 grace. Because it's only 5,000 to request an invasion. So we might as well spend it. Rather than risk this fucking dude dropping down dead. Next we'll request a master engineer. Who can build unique province modifiers. Then we'll request a trade contract. Buffing up all the trade posts for our realm. Won't affect us very much. Because we've literally only got a lighthouse built in Rome. And then we'll request some Chinese artifacts. And then maybe we'll, that by that point we'll be able to invade. Okay. Speaking of invade. Ireland. You look right for the picking my friends. Uh, what have we got? We want to imperial reconquest of... Uh, Logria. 1,900 gold. And now we wait. On speed 5, preferably. I've never felt so betrayed in my life. <sighs> There's no wonder these retinues weren't costing me much money. Okay, um, we should probably in that case get our Magister Militium to organize the army, reducing the retinue costs by, what's that, 25%? Not a huge amount, but it is pretty relevant when you're spending 200 gold a month there reinforcing them. Okay. That should be good. We should still be in profit, although we won't know until next month takes. Oh my god, it actually is costing 219 gold. Whew. Anyway, um, let's bring these boys over via the medium of boat. Um, we need more boat. Excuse me? Does the, anybody have a boat? Oh, you have a boat. Welcome, boat. Um, we, we actually need to hire boats or, or raise boats and get them here. Which is why I'm only looking in this general vicinity. Faster than the men reinforce? Hey, that'll do. That, that's more than enough. What about you? Have you got boat? No. Anyone else? Oh, Middlesex. You all have boat? Yes, perfect. Right. Go land there. You get on these boats. Um, merge these troops. Or merge, merge these boats. Get on. Right, let's go. We've got the legions. We've got our own personal retinue. Ireland are never going to know what hit them, except they are because I'm going to declare war on them first because that's generally the rules of... Um, that's the rules of contact? What was the expression? It's the rules of... Rules of conquest? The art of war? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, Ireland, where are you, my friends? Uh, you are in Ireland. Imperial conquest. Right, so we've got to take all of these things for the war goal. Oh, shit, they're also in the middle of a huge revolt. This was good timing. We've also got to take these three provinces. Obviously, the uh, strategic point that is Wales. So we go ahead and knock that one down quickly. And, you know, to celebrate our war and the empire coming to a close, um, by which I mean the Western Roman Empire coming to a close and the Roman Empire being reborn, let's seclude ourselves in prayer and meditation. I think... What this mod could do with is having way less honorary titles. Because it's really easy to keep the Empire together. When you can give out 700 honorary titles. All of which give opinion bonuses. And shit, there's also one I missed there. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty ridiculous when all of these are giving us opinion buffs. And you can give multiple titles to one dude. Say this guy, I've probably given about... Yeah, look at that. Despot, Legatus, Champion, Sensor, Helano, Dikos, um, Master of Arms, and Pro Console. It's, it's a little bit broken, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Oh, are we gonna be? Are we gonna fall in love with our wife? Is that is that gonna happen? No. 
Probably not. Uh, what do we need? How long are we waiting for that? Because uh, this is obviously the ambitions of Julius Napos at this stage. Bigger stickers are a bit more important to me than uh, just about anyone else. Okay, December. Right. Fuck Ireland. Who needs that when we can have um, a lovely relationship with our wife? One thing he's been missing in all 200 years of his long, long life. Right, let's take these boys out. Um, sorry, no, I said take these boys out. We might have to hit the capital as well. Oh, we might just get away. I've said that, but we might just get away with sieging down these war girls. I've got that we're in the UK now, where it's a little bit more civilized. Okay, um, we surrender in these terms. Yes, yes, you do. Roman Empire? No. Um, what do we need then for Roman Empire? We just need. It. I wish they would at least clarify what we're missing. Okay, romantic interest in spouse. Hey, hey, spouse. It's me, Julius Nepos. I'm 200 years old. I might I had to. I had to edit out something I said then. Life seems very lovely, even though I'm married, and my, despite being married for a while, I don't really know my spouse that well. Maybe, why is it all so weirdly spaced? Maybe, they are a much more interesting person than I thought. Maybe I can grow to appreciate and love them. We should spend some time together. I, I can hardly wait to go to sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, good work. Find love, we've done it. Oh shit, there's another ambition now? See the round prosper, be at peace for five years? My, my friend, my, my dude, you, that's, that's not ever going to happen, just to let you know. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to be the world's laziest. But you ready for this? 9,000 gold? Gone. Because I'm lazy. Oh, no. I suppose I'll rent you stay around. You know what? Fuck off. Who cares? We've got more gold than I can ever spend. So, I don't mind. You know what? I don't mind. This is this is what I'm like as emperor. Okay? Just ridiculous spending. Fuck bureaucracy. Throw the gold away. They can live in the UK now. Consider it population efforts. Right. Who are you? Oh, shit. Is, is fake house bigger stickers? Deadus? I hope so. Warren, what have you got? Shit. Careful, guys. He's got split mail armor. Oh, he's also got... A longsword that he's named after himself? His father? Uh, his mother, who was Bigger Stickers. Who is half Bigger Stickers. He is of the biggest blood. Okay, Um. well, what he's going to be is in my oubliette. I don't really have anything to lead on to that with. He's going to be in my oubliette. Okay, so we need like 300 gold before we can declare two fucking walls. Really, what else have you got, you weird man? Um, Let's just double check here. So he's got... Oh my god, are they kind of separate... The fuck oh, he's also got that? Oh, you dick. Okay, we're just going to take that one and let our vassals swallow that one up while we fight the Sassadins. I feel like that's a bit more straightforward. Right, raise the uh, Praetorian Guard. Raise the Legio Hellenica. Merge those boys and let's get them over to finish things up. Off we go. My commander, Comet Sempronius, was cornered as a sign in battle. Well, that's what he's there for, to be honest, so we can't really complain. Dangerous is the job, really. Get a safe line of work if you don't like it. Who a baker. What, are they, what, are, what sort of jobs do they have in Rome? i got to remember. What was, what was like 300? What did they shout? He's like, you, what are you? And then he was like, I'm a baker from Barnstable. And then he was like, Spartans, what is your profession? And they were all like, uh, big old so soldiers with soldiers. So I'm just trying to think, you know, what would be a job around the time of, I suppose 300 was literally thousands of years before this. Hmm. You know what? Ignore everything I've just said. It's not relevant. Uh, pass me the wine. Yep, diplomacy plus one. I like the sound of that. Plus a general opinion too. Couldn't hurt. Ooh, maybe we're about to be in a crazy cannibal now, because uh, everybody seems to like us. Hang on, general opinion. Uh, what are we looking at here, then? Um, yep, everybody actually likes us besides this Celtic man, understandably. But when I send him a gift, suddenly he's very, very neutral. Like those grey men from Futurama, whose name completely escapes me. Were they not just called, like, the grey men? The, nu the neutral? The neutral boys? <laughs> That's my boy band name. Jerry King and the neutral boys. It's my, it's my jazz band. Right, Rufinius, uh, Philippos, and uh, Caesar. Classic, great name, Caesar. Really great name. I feel like we should introduce that as a trend or something. All right, um, four more days. May Artemis see him safely to the afterlife. Thanks, Artemis. Oh, shit. We took a lot of damage for that. Damn. What the hell is wrong with you, Praetorian Guard? These guys are literally just peasants defending their damn castle. Okay, this should be it. I'm just going to see like speed through this wall literally as fast as I can so we can move on to the next one. Okay, 100% war score. Thank you. You are gone. He is now a duke. A pathetic little duke. Um, did we take that? No, we just vassalized him. Jewish? That's like the first Jewish character I've seen all game. You know what? Keep your land. Again, you, you people have been through a lot. I'm not going to persecute minorities here. This isn't the kind of channel. Just ignore the bit where we literally persecute minorities for the first 15 episodes. What episode is this? This might be episode 15. Yeah. I mean, I probably wasn't lying in that case. Okay. Um, I might even, honestly, just become a truce breaker and take this last title as quickly as we can. Besides that, um, what the fuck is this shit? Stick em, boys. Thank you, Saxony. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and deal with this, and then we should be good to go. 
Um, honestly, it's gonna cost us 30,000 prestige. Uh, in hindsight, nah. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Well, I'm sure one of our vassals will just swallow him up when we're not looking. We've got to deal with the Sassanids, who are public enemy number one right now, in the sense that they are also frigging huge. Absolutely massive. Now, the issue is it's very difficult to tell how much momentum they've got because of their government type. They basically call them in tribal style. Um, so what we're going to have to do is probably a little bit of a smash and grab. So we've only got to take... Oh, fuck me. We're just going to go for for two fucking provinces of all things. Eh. Okay. Um, where's, that, where's the capital as well? Is, is this a capital? Uh, my friend, your emperor level capital is much, much smaller than the massive Chinese kingdom level titles. Oh, sorry, Buddhist. Um, oh, no, wait. That is Confucian though, isn't it? Yeah, that's Confucian. Huh. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just move in and take that out. Let's get close to their capital as possible, because that's going to give us a nice war score. Catch in a battle, we win. Um, ready my horse, I'll get rid of the scoundrel. Off we go. The 200-year-old man. After the sunset, I managed to track down the raiders to the encampment. Me and my men decide to wait until midnight, sneak upon the guards, threaten them to leave my land. I can't, I don't know what the point of that event is. It's so straightforward. Anyway, uh, go off, go off and marry. Open dialogues with the heretics. Mm, I probably shouldn't have clicked that. Oh, uh, no, look. I've taken up a vow, a solemn vow, to commit no more ethnic cleansing or cultural genocide. Um, besides this one that I'm about to do against these guys. But, but that's it. Honestly, then I'm, I'm cold turkey. I'm off the I'm I'm off the ethnic cleansing train. I'm gonna get some new hobbies, which are a bit more wholesome. I smell profit. Instead, I'm just gonna blackmail my vassals. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. Jesus Christ, they're coming out of the goddamn walls. Um, fuck, there's a lot of them. Wow. Uh. Wasn't expecting this. Okay, um, change of plan, troops. Everybody meet up in Constantinople. We're going to have a party. It's going to be a real good time. Dun -na 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 -na. By which I mean, um, I'm going to pick off as many small troops as possible. Uh, and hopefully not get into any of these sort of 16,000 stacks. Not at least until our troops have reinforced a little bit more. So these are just the Praetorian Guard, aren't they? What are they, 36,000 men? Well, if we stick around our own lands for long enough, they should just reinforce up to a stage where they're going to be a little bit more useful. Um, I can't believe this, this single... Troop is holding out for just so fucking long. Oh, they're constantly reinforcing, right? My Magister Militium has done something I couldn't give less of a shit about right now. What if we move on their capital? I mean, let's let's hit the other, the other province that we're trying to take at least to get uh, ticking war score. Move on the capital, try and capture head Sassanid lady, and then we'll head back down and kill any armies that are kicking around. All right. Um, what is that? Minus 12%. Okay, well, that's fine. It's not like we control the entire war goal or anything. Thanks, game. May Athena see him to the afterlife again. Couldn't give a less of a shit what Athena's doing in his spare time. Ooh, as long as these troops stay apart, we can just do basically guerrilla warfare. Okay, we've got the trait drunken again. This is coming as you go, I suppose. Right. Um, yeah, again, if we kill off these troops in sort of small chunks, because they, unlike me, actually care about attrition, I couldn't give a less of a shit about attrition. Oh my god, they're going to reinforce into that. Oh! We're screwed. We're actually dead. Oh my god, we won it! What? My god, bamboozled. Holy shit, Praetorian Guard. You know what? I had no faith in you, and I really should. Okay then. Well, I mean, we've thinned out the numbers quite significantly, but unfortunately, it's nowhere near enough. Are we good? We could get out of the way. Are we good? Nice. Okay. Um, let's kill off all the troops we got. Where are they heading to? Al. Uh, Betray? Where the fuck is Albitree? Oh, here. Yeah. Literally the province next door. Funny that. Okay, let's just keep killing off as many troops as we can. Thin the numbers down as much as possible. Chaos of battle. We slew a man. Yeah, I really could not give it less of a shit about fucking minor battles happening elsewhere. Piss off. Okay. Um, so they've got 18,000 men. That's the sort of mass of their troops here. We've got 32,000 men standing around in Constantinople doing fuck all. So we'll bring these boys down to take out the main bulk of their army there. Um, we'll just leave our Praetorian Guard. Probably, actually, let's return them back to Roman lands to reinforce, if nothing else. Uh, maybe we can even pick up a few boys along the way. Uh, or at least counter siege. That's a much better idea. Hey, fuck off. I'm not... Oh, Jesus. The Haruli invasion of Moesia. I couldn't give up any less of a shit right now. Look at this. The two biggest empires on the map are fighting. And you guys think you've got a chance while I'm distracted. That's ridiculous. Okay. Um, damn, they're sieging pretty fast, eh? Right. Let's go back and uh, deal with this big chunk of troops. Let's merge you boys together. Get some good... Com the best commanders on here. Because the Praetorian Guard already get bonuses against religious enemies. Um, and the Legio Hellenica, I should say. Okay. Um, that's fine. Pretty decent. They still need some commanders, though. So, we'll go for the not-so-great tier of commanders. Um... Justin, welcome. And my great friend, Valens. 
Right, let's count siege some provinces with these. Kill their armies off with these troops as well. Hey, where are you going? Let's try brave. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, there we go. Right, you fools. They were trying to go for my small stack and completely fucked that up. Right, we're minus 17%. Um, okay, they've counted to war goal. That would be partially why. In fact, that will be entirely why. Right, um, I need to count siege also just about everything else they've taken here. Who the fuck is this joker? Druidic claim on Iska. So is this their pope? Druid, uh, Mirid, Gila, Na, Naam. That's Irish. Okay, yep, no, that is their religious head, so he's just declared a holy war on us. Then we've also got this dude, uh, who's, I'm, I'm actually gonna hang him above the walls of Rome for eternity. I will give him my immortal blood, an immortal blood friend choosing, so he hangs there forever. Because nothing annoys me more than the fucking AI trying to take an opportunity out of something that they were never gonna win in a million years. It's just an inconvenience to absolutely everyone involved. What the fuck happened there? Is that the tributary just expanding? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Nestorian vassal there. Apparently growing. Now, let's see the capital. That should give us just about enough war score to wrap things up fairly nicely here. Without needing to fight any more damn battles. Okay, um, goodbye. Thank you for that. What are we up to? 94%. Damn, I thought she was surrendering then. Uh, give up, give up. 100%. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. I didn't even fight that very effectively at all. I mean, you know me. I play everything on fucking speed 5. So th that's just proving. If you're good at this game, like if you're, if, you, if you're willing to play it on the lower speeds and you have a decent empire, it doesn't matter who the fuck you fight, whether they've got more troops than you or not. Because we fought that with 20,000 men towards the end there. So we're absolutely fine. CK2 is not a difficult game when you get to this stage. It really isn't. And there it is. The Roman Empire. Okay, I'm lying to you. I've just renamed it. So um, the issue is now we've got exactly what I suspected. Although we control everything in the Romanum Imperium to a, a glance here. Just to just to recap what we have got. Um, we still can't form the Roman Empire because we are missing a single castle somewhere. Oh my god, we're missing this part of Hadrian's Wall. Is that not enough? Really? That's not enough? Well, I'm not sure that he's the fucking Roman Empire. I think you're fine that he hasn't got Northumberland. Yeah, piss off. Okay, right game. Thank God for Saxony. That's all I'll say, because these boys are really helping out. Fuck it. Okay, we'll take it. Fine. Get yeah, fucked. Ireland. Final province. Have we done it? Can we Can we do it now? Please. Uh, you motherfucker. <laughs> all right, let me try and find what we're missing. Oh, that prick. Of course it would be him, wouldn't it? Of course it would be him. I basically just spent ages combing through the fucking ledger to find, to find out who's done it from the Independent States tab. Of course it'd be the ecumenical patriarch. Right, I have a feeling this genuinely might be the only one we haven't got. So, you, you little shit. I'm going to be taking that if you don't mind. I'm going to call in just about every one of our vassals, by which I mean Saxony, and we're going to raise all of our troops. And you are going to die. Right, um, all of you boys. You know what? Actually, let's, let's try that again. Right, uh, reset it all. Thank you. Uh, apparently we have... Sorry. Crazy pagans. I agree. Um, I'm not even sure what that was and I don't care. Okay, raise the troops. Right, get everyone over there. Just just, just charge. Just charge everyone in. Yeah, of course you will answer your calls to arms. Thank you. Right, here we are. Now, if you don't mind, I need this so I can form my empire. Right, we are good. Is that everything? Please. You... Ooh, this is, this is, this is annoying. You're actually fucking shitting me right now. The Isle of Wight is a separate fucking holding in this. An island that's about two meters squared. You piece of shit, right? Okay, this should be the last one. Luckily, we've probably got just about enough troops in the UK to deal with this. Yep, all six of them. Jesus. My god. Please be it. Please, please, please. Holy shit, we've done it. No way. My god. Okay, I'll be, I'll, I will admit, having formed the actual Roman Empire and having, you know, uh, there, there be decisions in the game. Like, for example, forming India has the same type of thing. We have to control all the baronies. Absolute pain in the fucking ass. Because normally you have to sit there and go through everything, make sure you're not missing it. Even the one holding. So, for example, if this was independent, that would be it. Thank fucking Christ. The Roman Empire is restored. I'm going to click it. Brace yourself. This is what? How many years? 158 years. We're starting the Roman Empire in 158 years. That's not bad. This is what 158 years has led up to. Boom. The dawn of a new era. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to... No. Uh, after the miraculous recovery of territory lost centuries ago, the Roman Empire has been reborn. Europe has endured dark times since the imperial frontiers were stormed by barbarians and province after province burned at their torch. 
Yeah, all about five years of that before obviously we rose up and stopped them. But now a bright new age has dawned for all civilization. The Roman state will no longer be referred to as the Empire of the Greeks by jealous pretenders in the West, but recognized as the true heir to the legacy of Rome. Imperator Julius restores a Roman Imperium. But much work remains to be done. There is still territory to recover and ancient borders to reclaim for the Senate and people of Rome. That's where the SPQR comes from, by the way. Esto Perpetua. We are granted the Roman Empire. Thank the fucking god. We are now... Oh, we're a nice shade of purple as well. I like that. Imperial Romanum. Imperator Julius the Glorious. And we are now Jul Julius Augustus as well. There we are. What does that give us? Vassal Opinion plus 10. Holy shit. Wow. What's next on the list then? Uh, we can form... Four different legions. We can reform the... Uh, we can actually divide the Roman Empire. Really? Uh, let's take a look. Hand out the west. Uh, hand out the east. My children get half of Rome. Or maybe this isn't a good idea. Yeah, I agree. That's a shit idea. Let's, uh, let's unmark the special interest so I don't accidentally press it when we're trying to invade China. Let's organize a legion. Perfect. Let's reform the eastern fleet. Perfect. Let's compose a book about Rome. Perfect. Another legion. My god, we've actually fucking done it. We've got to reclaim some borders, obviously. But my god. Um, I have a lot of things to sort out for next episode. At which point, we are going to hope that China stops being expansionist. You know what? Before I forget, let's get ourselves a master engineer too. Thank you very much. Let's take out the Sassanids. Let's put a horse on the Chinese throne. And then this series is done. So that will only be another three or four weeks. Shout out to my top tier, insane level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Randers, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Spire T, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Women for their support. Thank you. You're all insane. And at the sensible tier, we have Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Mintoniak, Necrophilum, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Quit Lutch, Khalid, Zar, Regan, Facundo Vasquez, Polemaster, Imperator Augustus, there he is, the man in the flesh. Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheep Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Joran DeVries, Euphrates, Don Connie 2 and 7, Jordan Campbell, Asra and Sidney. Thank you all for your support. My god, I need to lie down or something.